Changing the load area of a centrifugal feeder is an important modification when considering machine placement in the production line and fine-tuning the system after it's been tooled. Before performing any work on the feeder, always ensure that there is no live power to the system. Begin by removing one or more stainless steel side panels, as well as any Lexan lid or coverings that might make it difficult to access the center disc. Remove the center cap with a flathead screwdriver. Then, loosen the two 12mm hex head bolts securing the center disc plate and remove. Lift the center disc out of the tub and place it flat on a level surface. Using a marker or pencil, trace around the center disc tower, noting the location of the current load area, which is the area on the running surface perpendicular to the flat side of the disc mounting plate. We will use this to realign the assembly after adjustments are made. Loosen and remove the four 12mm hex head bolts that secure the center disc tower on the mounting plate. Remove the disc tower. Then, loosen and remove the four 12mm socket head bolts securing the disc tower mounting plate. Rotate the disc tower mounting plate to reflect the new desired load area. Reinstall the four 12mm socket head bolts to firmly secure the disc tower mounting plate. Then slide the disc tower over the center shaft and engage the T feature in the slot on the disc drive hub. Using the lines traced earlier, carefully align the disc tower and reinstall the four 12mm hex head bolts to firmly secure the disc tower. Place the center disc on the hub and spin to ensure there is no rubbing along its edges. If there is, locate the point or points of interference, loosen the disc tower and adjust accordingly. Once the disc is mounted, free of interference, reinstall the center disc plate and tighten the two 12mm hex head bolts to secure it. Finally, reinstall the center plastic cap, stainless steel side covers, and any other components removed for ease of access. Look out for more how-to videos from Feeder University, and thanks for watching.